Welcome back to our electric guitar setup course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to adjust the neck relief uh, or the truss rod uh, neck adjustment on an electric guitar. In this case, we're using uh, this thin line Telecaster that I have that needs a little bit of tweaking and we're gonna get this thing uh, all set up and ready to go. So there is a link below where you can sign up for this course completely free, and you can get links to all the tools that I'm using, everything else that you're gonna need to do this with your guitar. This is an important thing to learn how to do. So let's jump right in. First thing you wanna do is make sure your guitar is tuned to pitch, which I have done. Uh, I've got a tuner down here, uh, just from the Kemper remote, actually, is what I'm using for a tuner. All right, so we're tuned up. Now, when you talk about neck relief, uh, a lot of people, and myself included, I used to think that you wanted your neck to be perfectly straight. And actually, some players uh, prefer the neck to be perfectly straight. But really, what most players want to get the guitar to set up optimally is a little bit of a curve in the neck. That's why it's called relief. The neck is relieved. A little bit so this is how these things are built you've got the guitar the neck inside the neck there is a metal rod uh, you can actually see on the back of this guitar uh, they drilled a channel out of this neck and laid the truss rod that's what the truss rod is in it and then filled it out with uh, a walnut strip right there and so most guitars are going to have an adjustment for the truss rod either up here or in some like old fenders they'll have, you'll have to take the neck off and it'll be down here. Some guitars have an adjustment right down here, but somewhere on the guitar, there is a way for you to adjust the truss rod. Now the reason the truss rod is there is because when you put strings on this guitar, it creates a, an incredible amount of force back. And if you don't have some way to sort of, you know, stabilize that neck, reinforce it, the neck will pull back, and so you get a curve kind of like this. Now you want a little bit of that curve, but not too much. So the truss rod acts as a way to sort of reinforce the neck. And there is a way we can measure exactly how much relief we have and we want. So you want a little bit of this. If, the, if it's actually bowed this way, you're in trouble. You might need to get some, you know, seek professional help for your guitar. Some guitars, especially like a Les Paul style guitar, uh, a glued in neck, they'll kind of develop a hump right here where the guitar attaches to the body. With Fender style or bolt on neck guitars, you don't really run into that as much. Um, but if you do run into that, you probably want to find, you know, a tech or a luthier in your area that can help you uh, set that up and get and fix that. A lot of truss rods are two-way truss rods, so you can you can make adjustments this way and this way, but the basic truss rod setup is if you tighten it, it straightens the neck. If you loosen it, it allows the strings to pull the neck back. So here's how you measure how much neck relief you have. You're gonna need two tools for this job. The first one is a capo. So you put your capo on the first fret, and the second tool you need is this uh, feeler gauge, which we talked about in the first video. This is a 0 0.012 or 12 thousandths of an inch uh, gauge. It's a 0.3 millimeter gauge. So what you want is if you put the capo on the first fret and fret your guitar somewhere around the 17th fret, typically it's where the, the neck meets the body, you want there to be 0 0.012 or 12 thousandths of an inch clearance between the string and the fret at the seventh fret. So you can see what I'm seeing, we're looking straight down on the body or the neck of the guitar. This is the three, five, seventh fret. I wanna slide this in and have there be just 12 thousandths of an inch clearance. It's really kind of difficult to see that uh, in the video, but there is more than 12 thousandths of an inch of clearance. So my truss rod needs to be tightened, needs to be adjusted so that the neck becomes straighter. If the string were, for example, laying on top of the fret, that would mean you don't have enough relief uh, in the neck of your guitar and you need to loosen your truss rod to let the strings pull the neck, uh, to pull a little more relief into the neck. If you don't set this up right, you're not gonna be able to get your string height set right. This is why this is first. If you don't get the truss rod adjustment right, 
then when you go to set your string height, when you set it to where it should be, you're going to get buzzing all over the neck. Uh, and there's a lot of mystery to the truss rod adjustment, like how do I know if I need to tighten it or loosen it? Uh, this is how you know. You measure, capo first fret, fret down here where the, the neck meets the body, how much space is there between the seventh fret and the string. I need a little bit of adjustment. Okay, so this is where your Allen wrench comes into play. This neck was uh, made in the US, so this is gonna be a metric uh, wrench, and the 1 8 inch uh, wrench is what is what fits this neck. Uh, I believe this is a music craft neck. I, I got this from uh, MJT. I think they I think they went with music craft for this one. I, can't, I ordered it a long time ago. I can't really remember. Either way, what you do is insert the Allen wrench into the adjustment space, and then you can adjust it. So if you pull this way, righty tighty, it tightens it. If you turn that way, it loosens it. I need to tighten my truss rod so that I can straighten out. The neck. I will say this before you get going, proceed with caution. You do not want to move it much. And if it won't budge, like don't just force it because you can break the truss rod inside the guitar. Uh, you can also uh, kind of do permanent damage to the neck if you're not exactly sure what you're doing. So if you don't feel too comfortable with this or if it's a really nice guitar, uh, maybe take it to somebody who knows what they're doing and have them do it with you or show you what to do. But in this case, uh, I just need a small amount of adjustment. I need to tighten the truss rod so that the neck straightens. So I've got the, the, uh, the wrench in the, in the uh, adjustment space here. I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit. And I can, feel, uh, I can feel it tighten as I do that. Now you might also say to yourself, is it okay to do this while the strings are tuned, while it's under tension? I think it is, especially if you're doing just small adjustments. Some people will, will say that you want to loosen your strings before you adjust it. Sometimes the strings get in the way, uh, but I, I like to make so small adjustments, I'm not going to like turn this thing half a turn at once. So I make just small adjustments, and the neck should have straightened out just a little bit. So when we go to look at the pitch, the string should have lengthened just a little bit. If you think about it, the neck's going to straighten. And so it's actually going to lengthen the strings, so they should be a little sharp. So you make a, a slight adjustment, tune it back up to pitch. It is a little bit sharp, just barely, which is what I would have expected. Again, you don't want to make big changes when you do this stuff. You just want to make little changes at a time, especially when you're dealing with the truss rod. Okay. So we're tuned to pitch, so we'll put the capo on the first fret again, check it with the feeler gauge and see where we're at. All right, so we're ready to check our adjustment that we made, seventh fret. So there's still a little too much space uh, for me between those that fret and the uh, string, so I'm gonna tighten it again, so Allen wrench goes back in. I'm gonna make a little bit larger adjustment this time around. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that in there in case we need it. Go back to tuning. Yep, we went sharp again, which is what I would have expected. So I probably went a quarter turn on that. I would never go more than a quarter turn at a time when you're doing a truss rod adjustment. Okay. So we're tuned to pitch. Capo goes back on. Grab the feeler gauge again, see where we're at. That is perfect. That thing just barely just slides under there really really nice. So our neck relief is set and we're set to go on to the next step. Again, if the string is too close to the fret when you're when you're in that position, you need to loosen your truss rod. If the string is too far from the fret using your feeler gauge, you need to tighten your truss rod. In the next video, we're going to talk about string action or string height. See you then.